Namaste angels. I'm going to do a client reading for, this is a new client that is actually the daughter of one of my regular and repeat uh, clients. I, other, other than that, I don't know anything about her, but I look forward to doing this reading for her um, and working with her further. So I'm going to begin with the Tony Carmine Solano Universal Love Oracle and the card Heaven on Earth, which is about the need to um, vacate a space, like allow something old and that that's no longer serving us um, or the higher good, allowing that to go to vacate a space for something new and more beautiful to um, fill that space. And then that helps to bring heaven on earth to us, like this new thing is going to make us really, really emotionally, you know, fulfilled and happy. Opening to the Trilogy of Light, which is, um, for me, <laughs> more so than a trilogy about a trinity and like trying to be more like the trinity and nearer and dearer to the universe, you know, as we continue to ascend. Opening now to Divine Guidance. This guidance is infinite. Uh, and often moves us to surrender. Every time I see a moon, I'm reminded of surrender. Opposite, these cards opposite one another, maybe again guiding um, one or both in the union to surrender whatever this is onto which they're holding that is blocking their blessings. Divine guidance and messages from afar the need to pay attention to our intuition um, and other divine guidance that comes through in the many, many ways that it does. And I know that she's been experiencing, um, you know, more and more having undergone divine light cleanse, one of the recipients of one of the granted ones, actually. So the, just to say again, how very beautiful it is that we have, or that I have, yeah, we, because, you know, we're, we're in this together, have those among us who have been, um, by their own volition, so blessed by the divine light cleanse that it has enabled them to be a blessing to someone else. And, you know, in a few cases, either at least in part paying it forward, which is, you know, awesome enough in itself, but we've had more recently the entire divine light cleanses at the cost of $111 being paid for in full and granted to strangers granted for me to distribute. And the way that I do that is by, you know, publicly posting them on my Facebook page that these opportunities have come about, you know, to be completely fair, um, in distributing them and whoever responds first, basically, gets the cleanse. And so, um, her mother, um, I, I was in contact with her mother the last, uh, occasion that this had come about. I had somebody two weeks ago, um, one of my clients who is a divine light cleanse recipient themselves, um, as is their partner twice over. Um, so not only have they been so moved to buy it for themselves twice, and, you know, felt hope helped both times. So moved by that, that this person bought four divine light cleanses for strangers. He spent $444 towards strangers. That's how awesome the universe is when it enables us to be a blessing. Um, and so this person for whom I'm reading today is one of those who was blessed by that blessing. And now look at this, even more blessing. I was going to do a quick little spread to see what kind of union um, I might be reading for. I, I, you know, let her, she let me know that she had been um, thinking about one person in particular. And so I did the same. I'm thinking about that one person and doing this spread. And I was going to see like what we come up with, what kind of union it might be. And I think here we are. So I don't have to go any further with this one. I'm going to go instead then um, and able to show her this sacred union, I'm going to go on to the angel tarot, beginning with the king of air, who is, um, an Aquarius, maybe a Gemini or a Libra or somebody with those traits and attributes. Also, he is brilliant. 
and not necessarily a he. <laughs> he's not necessarily a he, um, but he's brilliant, impartial, professional, and diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. And opening to the seven of air. Plans that need revision. More going on than meets the eye. And poor timing. The seven of air can be, um, as it relates to a union for me, like about trust issues, jealousy, um, fear that something's going to be taken away. It's not going to go right. Um, in a general sense, it can be about like theft. And I call it the energy of joy stealing. Cause even if it doesn't, even if something like tangible that you can hold in your hand isn't stolen, uh, this energy is often irritating to say the least. Um, and it, it can take your happiness. King of air and the four of earth being too frivolous or too cautious with money. Good business decisions is also a possibility as, as is giving to those less fortunate. Um, so we just heard about how it, what it might mean with regard to money or material things. It's, it's similar as it relates to love being overly giving, uh, and generous with ourselves, um, to the point that it's, it's unhealthy or it puts our, you know, puts us at danger in a vulnerable position, fragile, or withholding, you know, love and care from others as well. Four of Earth. And it's the King of Fire. He's motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic. Focus, 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 and communicate with vision. Be a leader. Maybe even take advice from someone creative. King of Fire is the quintessential divine masculine in the tarot. Um, but he also is not necessarily a he. It can have another meaning. It could be a female. Um, in either case, um, whomever it represents may very well be a, an Anne, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, or someone taking on those traits or attributes. King of Fire, I'm going to cut. And it's ego or the devil in the traditional tarot, which represents the sign of Capricorn and earth signs, Taurus, um, Virgo, a false sense of entrapment. And you know what? I saw free yourself and I'm also, I almost began with free yourself actually. And I have something else here that was indicative of like being trapped. Um, well, not really, but feeling like you're trapped, you're stuck. Um, being overly focused on material things is a possibility. And that can involve money too, being overly focused on money, like where money becomes almost um, like godlike or the object, your affection. And it, it's unhealthy at that point. Um, and that blocks our blessings too. Like not worrying about money is what brings money. Um, also negative and fear-based thoughts in general blocks our blessings. Your overall energy is the nine of water. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. You have a love of life. The masculine is crowned by card number 11. Today is actually 1111. Uh, strength, major arcana card number strength. <laughs> Not number strength. Major arcana card number 11, strength, which represents the sign of Leo um, or other fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius. Great inner strength. Release harsh judgments. Instead, exercise some forgiveness and compassion. Surrounded by the seven of water, a complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. In the masculine subconscious, here's more evidence of feeling stuck. It's the eight of air, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence. So I said that like the seven of air could also be like self-confidence and fear and trust issues and all of that. Um, 
So that may be what this is about too. Also, just being afraid to take action in general, this causes this card to turn up. And here in this position, it really is mental. Feminine is crowned by the Page of Earth, who is scholarly, dependable, patient, and successful, and a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or somebody taking on those traitor attributes. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging, maybe even a new area of study. Pages bring news. This one brings news about money and material things coming. But as it relates to love, um, when the page of earth turns up, at least for me, it demonstrates um, a great potential for longevity um, in a relationship, like a really healthy, positive relationship that can go the distance. Feminine, surrounded by the world with Archangel Michael. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude. Also the path toward enlightenment. The world is, uh, it's a karmic energy, meaning of the universe, faded, destined, um, where the universe steps in to help us out of a situation that is like long overdue for us to come out of. It could be a toxic relationship, a job you were at too long, um, an energy, like you're in this funk, the universe is helping you to get out of it. Like, you know, you should have gotten out of it. Um, old habits, you're stuck in them or you feel stuck in them. You should have left them alone. You haven't yet. It's okay. The universe is going to step in and help you. It's that, it's that sort of thing. But at first it wants to congratulate you on the progress that you did make, whatever you did do. The universe is saying, okay, good job. You know what? I'm going to help you go the, the rest of the mile. It's like a push, a shove over the finish line, that sort of thing. Um, I tend to call it sometimes like my, my waiting to exhale card because, you know, you've been like working, working, working and trying to get your life together and you're close, but no cigar. And then here comes the universe, saves the day and you can finally like, huh, and breathe easier, right? Breathe again. Feminine in her subconscious is the page of air who is logical, honest, impulsive, and curious, challenging information delays or changes to plans and truth delivered without tact. The page of air for me is a Gemini. It can be an Aquarius or Libra as well, or somebody taking on those traits or attributes. Um, but it first and foremost, a Gemini because it's a page and the page is the more youthful of the court cards. And as Gemini is the more youthful of the, um, element of air. Crowning. It's the sun with Archangel Uriel. So we have two cards that could very easily represent Leo here sitting side by side. Major Arcana, very strong energy. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success if you have confidence yourself. When the sun shows up, it's like every, the sun makes everything better. It illuminates the situation, makes everything brighter, like literally and metaphorically. Here at the root, release with Archangel Azriel. So I started out in the Tony Carmine Salerno Universal Love Oracle with that heaven on earth card. And I said, we have to let something die to give way for something new. Well, that's sort of what this card means too. Release is death in the traditional tarot. And it has nothing to do with death in the sense that, you know, that we think about it as humans. It's about letting old situations, relationships, circumstances, energy die to give way for new, healthier, brighter, fresher, um, energy that allows us to you know, like, again, breathe easier, breathe again. Uh, release represents the sign of Scorpio or other water sign, Pisces, cancer. At the heart of the matter, it's the lovers with intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions. Good health. The sun can be about, I was thinking about it too. Like the sun can be about health for me also. Like there had been some sort of medical issue, but everything's going to be fine. Also indicative of CAT scans and x-rays and stuff for me. Um, yeah, me, maybe even like. Maybe even like concerns about, about things like cancer and radiation or, or even having gone, undergone something like that. But I think I feel like more like can't, can't, like it's concerns and there's no need to worry about it. Like everything's fine. Um, the lovers also represents the sign of Gemini 
and it's here crossing the page. It can represent an, an, another air sign too, Libra, Aquarius, but traditionally Gemini is the lovers. Um, Aw, and you got the six, the 13, six and 13 equals 19. And you got the crown by the 19 here. This um, row here in itself would represent like, I know for the tarot, for traditionally for tarot practitioners and stuff, the king and queen of fire represent um, the divine masculine and feminine. But in real life, at least for me, the queen of air and king of water represent, you know, the divine couple of all time, 19. So this definitely could be, um, a particularly blessed situation. Let's further clarify it with some romance angel cards. Begin with playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and opening to passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you're guided like not to restrict yourself. And maybe like, for example, the masculine guided certainly to drop any energy like this. This is very restrictive and it's self-imposed. He's not like chained down. He's free. He can allow his heart and soul to sing with joy playfulness and let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others playfulness open it to very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now Playfulness. I'll go one more. It's honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You know what? We have 1119 here. Not only is 1119, um, for me and those familiar with me, watch me, the representation of King Osiris and the, the day on which he would have me celebrate his birthday. Um, but it is the day also this month of the first month of the Jewish month Kislev. It's the ninth month of the ecclesiastical year and the third month of the civil year, depending upon when you guys, so if you count from Nisan, that's the ecclesiastical year. That's the ninth month. The civil year is beginning at Rosh Hashanah, which was in September. Um, it is a month, a month that's probably most known or celebrated for Hanukkah, which is like light versus at the root of Hanukkah and the heart of Hanukkah is light versus dark. Similar to, um, Diwali that, um, a lot of, uh, Indian cultures celebrate, um, or people of Indian descent. Indian as in from India, not, not native Americans. It's the festival of lights, light versus dark evil, um, being snuffed out by, you know, illumination. And that just like came out here, like just everything being illuminated and your light emerging, maybe the, maybe the masculine two here, the two of you, um, you know, growing very, very strong in your light and whatever was in like before that was bringing you down, that was making you, you know, sad, unhappy, um, because it was a, a darker energy that is being like completely erased and 1119, the date could be particularly important. I got to that. Um, or I was shown that really quickly when I opened to that moon and that honeymoon card, because on the 18th is the day of the new moon. So I think around the 18th, 19th, um, something could really go on for you because you have again, two 11 19s here. Here's the 11. Here's a 19. Here's the 11. Here's the 19. Also 11, 21, um, 
1121 is something as well. In addition to it being the day that the sun moves into Sagittarius, I believe. I'm, I think I remember it being something else too that's not coming to me. But I, I definitely think that this is the, what, what I'm being shown here has a lot to do with timing for you. So I would look for something to begin to happen. Here's that free yourself card I was talking about. I would look for something and not, not I don't, well, not look for it. <laughs> I'm just going to say maybe towards the end of the week, um, your day or <laughs> your week may, may be brightened. And opening to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And maybe you can do that with this newfound strength that, that I feel is coming to you. To you both. I'm going to cut on this note. You know what? Yes, let's do that. And very soon it's back. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Overall energy is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Maybe that's what's going to go on for you, you know, toward the end of this week or beginning of next week. A top strength, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. A top, the seven of water, deception. So these may be like a bunch of suitors, a bunch of options of something, um, choices you have to make. And you got to pick, like you got to be truthful with yourself about which one you actually want. Well, this is what we apply to the masculine. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Atop the eight of air, which is about feeling trapped and stuck, um, is a romance card of the same vein. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I don't know if, if the masculine is in some sort of relationship already. Um, I don't really feel married, although that's a possibility too. But I don't feel married, but maybe in some sort of relationship um, and feeling like he doesn't know how to get out of it, although he would like to. The codependency shows up when there's, you know, any person, place or thing or combination of those um, upon which he feels codependent. And again, the eight of air shows up when we're feeling that way and it's in our mind. Like it's not true. Like we can definitely get out of this situation if we're honest with ourselves about what we want, what we feel and our, what our options are feminine atop the page of earth free yourself this could be financial freedom this could be um, education learning something new free your mind the rest will follow um, this could be both it could be freeing yourself up for, you know, a nice long-term relationship too. If you have any cords to cut to any old relationships. Atop the world is passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you're being, again, eased out of this energy where maybe you couldn't, you didn't feel as if you could allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and being moved into a more pleasant um peaceful and content energy where you can be happy atop the page of air, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Well, the page of air is awesome at that, right? The page of air just blurts out the truth. Um, so that will enable you to reveal your innermost selves and get to know each other truly. If you are, um, apt to communicating like a page of air, Atop the sun and everything just being better and awesome is romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. 
That could be what the deception is. It's crossing the deception, like fighting those feelings, deceiving yourself, lying to yourself about what your options are, what your feelings are, and all that. And again, it has to be narrowed down on the part of the masculine. And for you, um, freeing up your energy to address this too. The top release or death, let go of control issues. So this is what you have to release, this death to the control issues. And instead, let's move into, let's allow surrender to be born. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And at the heart of the matter, atop the lovers, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So I think that this is um, speaking in the romantic and maybe even, you know, like sexual kind of energy with chemistry atop the lovers, which is pretty awesome. This is the other sign of being tied down and not being free that I had seen. Control. And opening to gossip. So there could be people. These could be the manipulators. Here. Control. And opening to dating queen. So this is another sign of a lot of suitors maybe and a lot of options. control but true love exists and that can certainly you know defeat control control one more beauty queen this is about feeling good about yourself not lacking confidence this is about being confident feeling strong like ready for the world not not manipulated I'm going to cut. Oh, look what popped out. Control again. So I'm just going to leave this out for you guys. <laughs> this is definitely for you. It, you know. And fair male. So fair male often comes through as a, when I look at this card, I see Capricorn. Um, that may be what, from what you need to free yourself, an air sign, per, I mean, a, an earth sign rather, and perhaps specifically a Capricorn. And you might not be in an active relationship with this person, but there could be like a tie, an energetic tie, um, a negative cord of attachment that needs to be cut or negative emotions still tied to this person, maybe like past hurt, resentment, pain, regret, um, and that is prohibiting you from moving forward. And the overall energy is open relationship. So maybe um, like the desire to have a relationship out in the open not what open relationship would typically mean. And lastly, for a little healing, maybe, um, my angel therapy cards, beginning with you are profoundly clairvoyant. And oh, ah, you had an overall energy of sacred union and I open right to as soon as I'm starting with this deck, Twin Flame. The answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. So there you have that. You are profoundly clairvoyant and earth angel. You are a light worker who has come to earth to teach about love. Earth angel, I'll go one more. Cut your cords. So what I was just saying a moment ago. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships. Freeing you <laughs> from destructive patterns. Cut your cords. 
I'm gonna cut the cards too on that note. What jumped out? It's solar plexus chakra. It's safe for you to be powerful and to take charge of your life in positive ways. So I'll leave that out for you guys too. And Ascended Masters, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over you and guiding you. And the overall energy here is heart chakra. The answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. So to take us all the way back to the beginning of the reading, if you remember that, that four of earth, a four of pentacles, four of coins, and I talked about either withholding love or being overly generous with it maybe when we shouldn't um this speaks to not doing either extreme and being able to in a healthy way give and receive love like without an agenda that's like the real unconditional love unconditional love is exactly what it sounds like love without condition like, I love you regardless of whatever is happening. And that's what we need to be able to do. Both give that and receive it. Somebody else wants to give it to us. Because a lot of us can give out and even complain that we're not getting any. But when people try to give us, we're, we're closed off to receiving. All right. From the angel therapy cards to the masculine, shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies like the aid of air. By envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. Here's the healing light up here, the sun. For you, from the angel therapy cards, fairies. You have a strong bond with the fairies and your life purpose involves helping mother nature. From what I call the hashtag creepy deck, it's mature woman. Um, you may be older than this um, partner of yours, that's a possibility, or this maybe just has a, as he is perceiving you, um, you know, very together <laughs> um, person, woman, female, which is nice. And new love, the love anew, again, by vacating the space, love begins anew. Let the old energy die, new energy shows up. Also, Trilogy of Light, I spoke about this, it, and it's about continuing to heal in an effort to not necessarily be a tri trilogy of light, but to be more like the Trinity. So like the Divine Masculine, the Divine Feminine, and the Universe, not necessarily in that order, but this is what, to what we're, toward what we're striving. For you, answered prayer. This is very much like the nine of water that you guys already had. It's like a big yes from um, the love angels. And for me also, this card represents air and water, um, which may be again involved in this union here, having seen so much uh, of both air and water, although the fire was prevalent too, um, because the butterfly represents for me like death and rebirth, but it represents air too. I mean, I, you see, I wear a butterfly, I got one around my neck. Um, because the queen of air is similar to how Scorpios are about allowing things to die, death and rebirth. The queen of air is about cutting out old stuff. So maybe it doesn't die. It, it doesn't die a natural death, but it still dies. Like I'll take it out. Um, and then it, you know, allow my energy to transform into something else. Also the star in the tarot represents the sign of Aquarius. So there's your air and water, but I, I see all this like puffs of smoke and all the blue and waves. So that says air and water too, in here in the perimeter. Um, but more importantly for you is probably the fact that yes, prayers answered, wishes granted. This is a yes from the angels for you. To the masculine, a new beginning, maybe involving money or a new job, um, something that is going to be both emotionally fulfilling and make him, um, you know, feel more comfortable and, and, and not worried about money. It's a new start. It's a fresh beginning for him. The inflow of abundance. 
a promising business venture is a possibility, and maybe even signing important documents or contracts. Like again, a, a, maybe you're signing on the dotted line to accept a new job or a loan or a grant or something. For you, the Empress, which represents the planet Venus for me, the, the goddess and planet of abundance. She's the goddess and planet of love and of money. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. So we just had um, some other advice for you that you were connected to Mother Nature. This is Mother Nature. And you may want to spend some time with her outside if you live in an area conducive to that. Um, this card also represents the signs of Taurus and Libra specifically. Air and Earth now. And the last card for the masculine, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Well, the red flags that we saw here were strength and the sun. So they're cautioning him to throw caution to the wind and live the good life. And lastly for you, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. In that spiritual path a pin, a, appears to be um, one of perhaps a, 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 an earth angel, a light worker's path, and a divine union ahead for you. I hope that you enjoy your reading and find it helpful, dear. Namaste, angel.